So in this type of question, it starts off with asking you to calculate the number of moles of something that we used. Then we're going to use an equation to calculate the number of moles of gas that it produced. And finally, this concludes, we're going to talk a bit about oxidation and reduction. So as with all these questions, what I would recommend you do is when you've used a number or something in the rubric, cross it through. That way you know that you've used all the information. So if you get to the end of a question and there's some numbers you haven't used, go back and check it. You've probably missed the calculation out. So it starts off by saying a student reacted 50 centimetres cubed of 12 moles per decimeter cubed, 12 molar hydrochloric acid with an excess of manganese 4 oxide. So HCl plus MnO2. Calculate how many moles of HCl were reacted. So if you're given a solution and we are given a solution because it's aqueous. The equation we need to use is N equals C times V. Where C is the concentration and V is the volume, but the volume is in decimeters cubed. So we're going to use N equals CV. The concentration is 12. So we've used that. But we need to use the volume, but that's 50, but that's in centimeters cubed. So you need to divide that by a thousand. Score through that, and the number we get is 0 0.60 moles. Second part of the question says, calculate the volume of Cl2 produced in decimeters cubed. Under the experimental conditions, one mole of Cl2 occupies 24.0 decimeters cubed. So, with all these questions, look at the equation, look at the numbers you've used before. Can you use that number there somewhere in this part of the question? How do we know the number of moles of chlorine that were produced? Well, we know that four moles of hydrochloric acid go to one mole of Cl2. Remember, there's an imaginary one there. So four moles goes to one mole. The number of moles of chlorine gas that it produced divides by four. So we say there must be 0 0.60 moles divided by 4 moles of Cl2 produced. How do I know this? Well, I know that 4 moles of HCl make 1 mole of Cl2, so 0 0.60 moles of hydrochloric acid will go to a quarter, 4 to 1. So the number of chlorine gas produced is 0 0.15. Next equation we need to use is the gas equation. So we need to that is the volume of gas is the number of moles, number of moles, times by 24. And the number of moles we have is, fifth, is 0 0.15. So it's 0 0.15 times by 24. We know because the number 24 is given to us. So that's 3.60 decimeters cubed. Check your units. If that is in decimeters and that is in centimeters cubed, you need to start looking at converting them. In the final part, it says in this reaction, chlorine is oxidized. Use oxidation numbers to determine what is reduced. So if you get a bit stuck in the exam and you get a bit kind of puzzled, if that's got an oxidation state, the thing with the oxidation state, manganese 4 oxide, that's probably going to be the thing that is oxidized or reduced. So let's look at it. So we have manganese oxide, MnO2. What's the oxidation state of the manganese? Well, we know the oxygen, each oxygen is minus 2. So each oxygen is minus 2. And there are two of these. So the charge is because the oxygen is 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. What's the charge of the manganese in the MnO2? O2, so the manganese is plus 4. What's it gone to appear? Well, in the product, it's Mn, whoops, sorry, MnCl2, MnCl2. Each chlorine, or chloride rather, is minus 1. There are two of them, so 2 times minus 2 times minus 1 is minus 2. So the charge on the manganese must be plus 2. How do I know it must be plus 2? It must be plus 2 because that overall compound is neutrally charged, which means that must be plus 2 to counteract, to balance the 2 minus, because each chlorine 
chloride sorry is minus one.